Let's talk about recording sound with Python. This is something extremely interesting, especially if you are into environmental sound processing. So you want to capture the sound on the street and then you want to analyze it. But for that to happen, you need to record sound. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can record sound with Python. I'm gonna show some code that you can reuse and I'm also gonna tell you a little bit more about the libraries that we are gonna be using for input, output, for sound. The first thing that we'll take a look at are two libraries fundamental for capturing sound with Python. These are Port Audio and Pi Audio. Let's assume you want to record some audio from an external mic connected to your computer. Of course, your machine is gonna have an operating system. It could be Linux, it could be Windows, it could be Mac OS. We have an issue here. And that's that different operating systems treat audio differently. In other words, you need some input output audio library that's different for each of these different operating systems. What this means in the end is that writing some general code that works for all of this type of operating systems for recording audio is extremely difficult. This is where port audio comes in. Port audio is a audio input output cross-platform library that allows us to acquire, capture audio as well as to playback. Indeed, it has some facilities that you can use to play back audio as well as to record it. The great thing about Port Audio is that it provides a single unified interface for all the different operating systems so that when you use Port Audio, your audio program can be used cross-platform in all of the different supported operating systems. But we still have a, an issue here, and the issue is that Port Audio is written in C and C++, so we can't directly use it in Python. For that, we need to use another library that's called PyAudio. PyAudio provides bindings in Python for Port Audio, so that you can use all the Port Audio functionalities directly from Python. Before we implement our recorder in Python, we need to install both Port Audio and Pi Audio. Installing Port Audio can be a little bit tricky, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. To install Port Audio in Ubuntu, you can use this command here where you install Port Audio as well as its dependencies. You install libsound Port Audio, libportaudio, and libportaudio cpp. I'm gonna run this, but as you can see, I already have installed it. The next step is installing PyAudio and you can directly install PyAudio using pip and you should do that in a dedicated Python uh, environment. So I'm gonna do a pip install PyAudio like this, but as you can see, the requirement is already satisfied. I showed you how you can install uh, Port Audio and PyAudio in Ubuntu, but of course, if you have other operating systems, just go check out the documentation. With PyAudio and Port Audio installed, it's now time to take a look at the class design of the recorder that we want to build. The recorder system that we want to implement in Python has two classes. One is called stream params, and this is a data class that provides uh, all the arguments regarding the type of recording that we want. In this class, you're gonna have information, for example, about the bit depth or the sample rate. Now, we create a stream params and we pass it at construction time to the main class of our, uh, of our system that's called recorder. Now, recorder has one public method that's called a record and that does what it says. And record records audio from mic for a given duration and then it stores the recording as a WAV file at a given safe path. Let's take a look at the code. First, we need to build the stream params data class that has a bunch of parameters that will be fed to a PyAudio stream object. 
here you have the format that's the equivalent of the bit depth then the number of channels the sample rate the frames that you want to read for each buffer and then we need to specify whether the stream is of type input or type output then we'll build a method that converts this data class into a dictionary data structure we implement the recorder class the constructor for recorder takes a stream params object and it stores it in a public attribute then we need three private attributes one for a PyAudio object one for a stream that we'll be reading from and then for a WAV file then we implement the public method record that takes two arguments one is duration that specifies the amount of time we want to record for and then safe path which is where we want to store the WAV file record does three things first it creates the necessary recording the resources then it writes a wave file reading from uh, a PyAudio stream and then it closes all the recording resources let's take a look at the different resources that we want to create first of all we need to create a PyAudio object here we are in the PyAudio documentation. As you can see, the PyAudio object is our interface to port audio and it provides methods to initialize and terminate port audio as well as to open and close streams. Next, we need to initialize a PyAudio stream object, which we can do using the PyAudio object and calling open on it and passing all the stream parameters from the stream params object. Here's the documentation for the stream class in PyAudio. At construction time, we can pass a bunch of different parameters. And as you can see, these are some of the parameters that we packed into our stream params class, like rays, channels, format, input, and output. Next, we want to create a WAV file where we want to store all the audio incoming from the PyAudio stream. To create the WAV file, we're going to be using the WAV module from the Python standard library. First of all, we open the file, then we set the number of channels, the sample width, and the frame rate. Next, we need to implement the core functionality, which consists of writing a file while we read from a PyAudio stream. For that, we need a for loop. We're going to be we're going to have as many iterations as the number of buffers that we're going to feel uh, given the sample rate and the duration that we want to record for. And at each iteration, we're going to read the audio data from the stream PyAudio object and then we're going to pass that to the WAV file and we're going to write it directly in the WAV file. Once we've written all the necessary audio data for the given amount of time, we need to close the recording resources that we initially opened. And this means basically closing the WAV file closing the stream and terminating the Pi audio or port audio session. Before we move on to trying out the recorder class to capture some audio from Mike, I want to say that this video is sponsored by nobody. So if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Another thing, this week, we just hit 5,000 members in the Sound of AI Slack channel. This is an amazing network where people help out each other and people are all interested in all things AI, music, and audio processing. I'll leave you the subscription link in the description box below. Now, let's go back to try out the recorder class. Let's create a script where we'll instantiate a recorder object and then we'll run record. Okay, so we'll do if name is equal to main, then first of all, we need to create a stream params object. And I'm just going to keep this default values here. I'm not interested in changing this, right? So then I'm going to create a recorder object and I'm going to pass stream params as an argument. Okay, so then we're going to do a, a recorder dot record. I'm going to pass a duration, say for example, five seconds, and then we're going to pass, uh, what else? 
the save path. So I'm going to do I audio dot wav. Okay, let's run this. I'm singing in the rain, very badly singing in the rain. Let's see. Okay, it stopped recording. Now let's take a look at the results. And here's the audio file. Let's try it out. I'm singing in the rain, very badly singing in the rain. Wow, that's disgusting. But nonetheless, the recorder works. Now you know how you can use Python for a recording sound. The implementation is quite good, but it could be improved. And that's because we are using the so-called blocking PyOdio mode. What does this mean? It means that we are recording our audio on the main thread and the execution of all other instructions that we may have in our program are blocked. Usually when you are dealing with audio processing, what you want to do is to record or to process audio on a separate thread. And for that, we could use the so-called non-blocking mode in PyAudio. Let me know if you want to know how to actually implement recording or processing in real time of audio using non-blocking mode in the comments below. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, cheers.